Hello everybody, good day to you all today. I'm talking about the Centaur World, season number two, a Netflix original animated series. And I think this is this is the last season of the series. Everything's wrapped up here. Questions get answered. We find out who the Nowhere King is and his origins is happening here, which is like blew my mind. A twist I did not see coming. We get the, we get um we get we have Ryder and, and, and Horse we and we and Knight in here as well too. While they while they're also on their separate journeys in here. Horse gonna have his insecurities because the thing is though. She left Ryder, who she loved, to stay in this world where she got her her whole body changed and, and then morphed herself, which also made her go through depression because you think Ryder wouldn't recognize her or, or want her back. But see how, the, see how that didn't affect her, because so now she thinks she's going to rally up the troops and get and get, all this, get everybody in the center world together so they can fight off the Nowhere King and his army. And it turns out, didn't do that. Didn't do that either. She felt like she was useless and like, this, what, the, what the point of me leaving my Ryder if I couldn't affect, affect change at all? And you see her going through all that as, as well. And you see, and you see the, the whole her her new like family just be themselves and be wacky, crazy, and weird. It made no sense at all. This 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 show, this season as a whole is I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun watching it. Watching the two different art styles between like the, the centaur world and the regular world where where, where Ryder is. It's it's so different and it kind of um, kind of like don't mash up that well really, but. It is fun to watch these different styles in, inside this one inside this one genre right here too. Cause this thing is a musical, a comedy, and it's a fantasy, and it's also. But the thing is though, it's, it's also very silly at times, and sometimes it makes no sense at all. There, there are certain things that happen in this show that makes no sense. None. And then sometimes the things happen in the show that makes perfect sense, and, so, and it might be it might go about it in a weird way, but it, it, it does make sense though. And it says, oh my gosh. And when you find out exactly what the more purpose of the Nowhere King and what and what how he got made in the first place, you 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 realize like this: Wow, all this could have been avoided. All he had to do was tell the truth. But his fear and insecurities stopped him from actually finding something that actually could have made him happy. Somebody actually did something for who he is. He couldn't he couldn't believe that. So therefore, war. I just like wow, wow, so messed up. But this is watching Horace. Like find her way, Re starting to realize she had, she doesn't need to rely on her friends as well too, as well as well too. Learning how to use and use her, um, her her new powers that she that she has as well. Seeing Ryder trying to learn how to pretty much live without horse and try to connect with another, another horse who's a psychopath, which I, I was like okay, it was kind of creeped me out a little bit too. Because the thing is, so this show is so weird. I have no idea who's the target audience for the show because I don't think it's for children. I, I think it's, more, it's, it's a more adult cartoon, but sometimes the subject matter can be kind of silly. Because it also talks about things, subject matter like, like, about, uh, that goes on to, in the day's world a little bit as well, too. But the, but, the, but the way they represent it is very silly and weird and creepy looking. Like, the, but the, like, the, like they talk about Twitter in this world and, and, the, and the internet in this world, even though there is no internet or Twitter. But the way they, but the, but the way they use Twitter and how they send off their tweets is disturbing. It's very disturbing. And also, kind of like I don't know if it would be funny or I would be freaked out about this. It's like a little bit of funny, but I'm freaking out. You know, because it's just like I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, no. Like I, like, I, I, I had no idea what, what, what they're trying to do with this show. Sometimes, like, this. are they trying to creep you out or make you laugh? <laughs> like sometimes a little bit of both. Like, this, I just mm -mm, nope, no, no, no. I'm out. No, this is not my thing. This is not my thing. I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't know what that is. And the other time, it's whimsical and silly. Or sometimes very heartwarming too, but too. But it's also messed up at the same time. Like you have, um, um, Durbleton and his new baby that he adopted, Stabby. But the thing is, though, he didn't really adopt Stabby. Stabby was a soldier who, who, who was a, on, the, on, the, on the opposite side who got stabbed in the back with, with a sword. And Durbleton, instead of taking the sword out about it and helping him, he decided to adopt him and raise him as his own baby, and then, some for some weird, strange way, the his kidnapper fell in love with him, like some like some strange Stockholm syndrome situation, and then it became father and son. I mean, it is, he was trying to get away from him for this whole entire time. He tried to get the knife out, his, his, the sword out of his back for the whole entire time, and then and the sword ended up being a part of him. And it, it, it was like it was it was a weird thing. Like this, like, like what is happening right now? What is happening? Like he forced him, to, like he forced Durbertin forced him to love him back so much, and he kept over 
babying him. He's a grown man, and so and then and then he then he actually then because he kept babying him so much, he actually turned into a baby. So I I like. I, it was like it's so weird and it's, it's, it's disturbing. I just how is he getting rewarded for this? This is so wrong. This is so wrong. It's so messed up. Like wow. Okay. I'm not sure what the message is. But the message here right here is, but it's like what? I don't understand that at all. But okay. <sighs> this whole show is weird. So weird. But it has so many interesting and, uh, and characters yes, you do like. Like, Comfortable Doug. Comfortable Doug makes no sense at all. But he ends up being a hero at the, at the end. I just, how does this work? How does this show work? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't explain it to you if I wanted to. You just gotta watch it for yourself. You just gotta, you just gotta, you just, you just gotta watch it. Because me trying to explain this show, it would sound like I'm crazy. Because, like, wow. Like I said, it's a musical fantasy comedy, action-adventure TV show. Yeah. And it also has some horror, horror elements in here as well. Which is also very disturbing. And I just... It's like, wow. This show is insane. But, it had, like I said, it, it wrapped up nicely. It came, Everything came full circle. The truth was revealed. And I was like, like, wow. So, check it out for yourself. That's all I can tell you. Because I don't... Just, 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 just gotta watch it. Just go on the journey. Would it, would it make sense all the time? No, it won't make sense all the time. It won't. Will you, will you have fun watching it? Well, I think you probably will. I know I sure did. As I get, as I get the season a grade, I'm giving it... I think I'm gonna give it a solid B. I'm gonna give it a solid B. I'm gonna give it a solid B. Check it out for yourself, though. Check it out for yourself. Go through this whole entire journey. Season 1, Season 2. Watch, watch all the craziness and wackiness going this crazy slip and slide of, of, of a show. And then that, let me know what you thought about it if, if you have seen it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Hopefully you will have a ball watching it. Or be freaked out. I'm not so sure which which. Or maybe, maybe both. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up. Share boop. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Also, links down below. Connect you on my social media. You want to follow me there. Also, so, to my three shops where I, where I sell things. You can buy some stuff. I appreciate that too. It's like I always say, in my dreams of a life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.